Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi guys, welcome to God in the Home with yours truly, Nadine. As always guys, it is a pleasure to have you here with me every single time. How are you guys doing? How has it been for you all of this week? Boy, it's been, this week has not been such a bad one for me at all. Uh, sometimes it was very hot, but then we've been getting, you know, a few outbursts of showers, which I am so grateful for. And I know all of us, all of you are grateful for the rain. So to my regular subscribers, it is a pleasure to have you here every time. And to those of you who are here not yet subscribed, it is even a much greater pleasure to have you stopping by. Feel free to go ahead, hit that subscribe button and become a member of our family. Right here, guys, and in your home, remember that God is the foundation on which you build, which all of us build. And with that, we can't go wrong. Okay, we need to have that solid foundation, who is Jesus Christ. This morning, guys, I was thinking that we could just talk about the whole aspect of giving thanks. You know, throughout this week and, on, and onward, and especially we're going to focus this week dedicate this week to just saying thank you just saying thank you to god and not just to god everybody around us come on now you know i was thinking in how is it in your home do you say thank you to your family members whenever they do anything at all for you that you really appreciate them for in 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 our home my home here um thank you is something that we use all the time to each other from our Kids were small from, you know, babies. We teach them to say thank you and, you know, the regular mannerable things. But we always teach them to say thank you. And they grow up with that. And even now, everybody, we're all adults here now. But we still maintain that. We still maintain that. And even we tell them to say thank you from when they were small. But we as parents, we in turn do the same thing to them. Because remember, now, you know, our children live what they learn. So if we want them to say thank you to us, then when they do something for us, we are going to say thank you to them too. So even when the meals are prepared here, anybody at all that prepare meals, once it is ready, once we have it and all of that, we always say thank you. Anything that anybody does for anybody, we say thank you. And it is a, it is, it, it's a good feeling. I mean, you really and truly do feel appreciated. You know what I mean? Thank you is used to tell someone that you are grateful when they have given you something or when they have done something for you. Hearing the words, thank you, it helps you to feel appreciated and valued, which in turn gives you an a, a, a inner feeling of happiness and positivity. Yes. And that in turn motivates you to have, and then it, it, it brings about more positive interactions and outcomes. Speaking of outcomes, family, you know, we serve a God who never fails. He never fails to fulfill his promises and his love. It will never end. In the Bible, the story of the children of Israel, we see how God have been faithful to them. God remained faithful to them even though they seem to forget about God some of the times. We ourselves, on our journey to the promised land, sometimes we seem to forget about God sometimes. Not all the time, some of the times. But even though that happens sometimes, God is always faithful. He remains faithful to all of us. Can you imagine that? Even though sometimes we're not faithful. But God remains faithful to us at all times. God, he never changed. Never ever. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changed. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6 confirms it. It says, in Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6, God says, I am the Lord. I do not change. That is God who is speaking. While everything around us is changing, family, everything, 
we can depend on God. We can depend on God continually showing us his grace, his love, and his compassion. So we have prayed. We wake up in the mornings, and the first thing we do, well, I believe that's the first thing we do, is acknowledge, show our gratitude, give God thanks for waking us up, for the opportunity to see another day, you know, a day with new grace and new mercies that present itself that is there waiting for us. So even the birds, because you notice when you wake up in the morning, as early as the birds are up, you hear the chirping, chirping, chirping. Everything is out there giving praise. We are to do our part too and give God praise every single morning. So for all of the prayers that we have prayed, whether we have received the answer, as in we see it, experiencing it, living it, whatever it is, whether we have received the answer, yes or no, for every prayer that we have prayed, we are to start giving thanks at the end of it. And if we prayed and asked God about something, we don't need to get up tomorrow morning and say, God, I'm asking you for the same thing I asked you yesterday. Our tomorrow morning prayer should be, thank you for that which I've asked you for yesterday. So it is always, a, 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 we should always be praise of thanksgiving on our lips, giving God thanks for what he has done what he is doing and what he will do. Because once you hear a prayer and his word said that if we know that when we pray he heard, then we should know that we have already have the answer to that which we prayed for. So all we have to do is just to start praying our prayers saying, thank you God, giving him thanks for things seen and things not yet seen. Hello somebody. Yes, that is what we're going to do. So Psalm 118 and verse 29. That is what we're going to be putting into practice throughout all of this week. Not necessarily asking him for anything. Because a lot of times we pray, we ask, we ask, we ask. So this week, we're going to spend this week and thanks and thanks and thanks. Just give him thanks throughout all of this week for everything that you have prayed for already. What has come, what is here, and what is to come. Okay? So Psalm 118 and verse 29 goes... Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Forever. So, let's have an attitude for gratitude this week. All right, family? Now, only end it at the end of the week here. Now, continue. Let it become a lifestyle. Okay? All right. Now, have a wonderful rest of the day. A wonderful rest of the week until we see you again next time when we meet. All right. Have a great day, family. Bye.